Okay, I want to tell you about the work done on an object by a constant force. So if we have a constant force on an object, it doesn't have to be the net force, it can be any force, but it's going to be constant, it's not going to change at all. Okay, here's your basic equation for the work done by a constant force. It looks like that. That is the dot product, and so what you're doing is you're taking the part of F that's in the direction of S, and you're multiplying it by S. Okay, so a dot product always becomes this. It always becomes F times S. I won't put the vectors over there because I mean for those to be magnitudes now rather than writing absolute value signs all the time. I just won't include the vectors. Just like work is a scalar quantity, there's no vector over it. These are meant to be scalars now. But then that would be times the cosine of theta. And if you're wondering where that comes from, you'll go back and look at the dot product, the, the video on dot product, and you'll see where that comes from, fs times the cosine of theta. Okay, so for um, whenever the force has a component that's in the direction of a, s, for instance, um, if the force is this way, and s is this way, s is displacement, then... Um, then that's going to be positive work because there's a part of F that's in the direction of S. And so if you put, say, 30 degrees in there, you'll see that when you, when you do that, you will get um, a positive work done. So anytime the force has any component that's in the direction of S, that's, then positive work is going to be done. However, um, if the force has a component that's anti-parallel to S. I don't mean perpendicular, I mean like in the opposite direction of S. So if S is this way, and your force is this way, then that's going to give you a negative, a negative work done. Um, <clears throat> let me show you the most basic case of that. What if, F, if S is this way, and F is that way. Then the angle between these is 180 degrees. And so the work done will be, um, let's make this 10 Newtons. And let's make this 2 meters. So the work done will be 10 Newtons times 2 meters times the cosine of 180 I'm out of space here let me just bring this down here times the cosine of 180 degrees do you see how when you um, take the cosine of 180 degrees that gives you a negative 1 so the work done is going to be not 20 newtons but tw newton meters but negative 20 newton meters if you took 180 degrees and instead you made that um, 95 degrees, you're still going to get um, a negative answer. All right. Um, so you might say, well, then there must be a time when no work is done if, if it goes from positive to negative. And that would be whenever the force is perpendicular to the displacement. So any circular motion... The centripetal force, the force that's toward the center, whether that be gravity or a tension or what have you, that always gives you negative work done because, look, let's have a little displacement here. Here's a little displacement, S, and the force, F, is perpendicular to that. So when, um, just let's just do the math, the work would equal um, F, whatever F is, it doesn't even matter what the, what the value is, times S, times the cosine of 90 degrees. And so that, that gives you zero work done. Zero joules. So remember, if something is traveling in a circle, it doesn't change, it's not going to do, uh, the, the net force on it is, is not going to, 
um, do any work if it's going around at a constant speed. That is, if the net force is directed toward the center of the circle. <clears throat> okay. Um, I also want to um, just show you um, something called the work energy theorem. So I want to show you this. This is a, a pretty important equation, and that is that the work done by the net force, the work done by the net force will always equal the change in kinetic energy. Um, for a, the work done on a particle will always equal the change in kinetic energy. And um, the way I'm going to show that is I'm going to put a force, let's have the force be in the same direction as the displacement, just to make this simple. So the displacement's going to be that way, and so will the, the force. So, and let's just say that this is the only force on it, so it's the net force. So when you put a force on something, let's say that it's at rest, it's going to displace it that way. Let's take a look at that. So the work done by the net force is going to be um, it's going to be um, F net times S. But F net is MA. So I'm going to put in an MA in place of F net. The work done, I'm going to call that the net work. It's MA, because that's the net force, times S. And S I'm going to just call delta X. That's, that's how far it get, it's going to get displaced. We'll have this be in the X direction. Okay, now um, you remember this equation for constant acceleration, and this would be constant acceleration because my F net is not going to change. It's just going to be the same um, F net the whole time. So you remember this equation, V final squared equals V initial squared plus 2A delta X. Well, you see this delta X here? There's a delta x here. Let me solve for delta x in this equation. Maybe I'll um, bring the vi on the other side and then divide both sides by uh, by two. So what that gives me is um, one half v final squared minus one half v initial squared. That's equal to um, a delta x. So I'm going to substitute for for this right here. I'm going to substitute that into there. So the work done by the net force is M times um, A delta X, but this is A delta X. So times one half V final squared minus one half V initial squared And um, can you see that that's the change in kinetic energy? So the work done by the net force is equal to the change in kinetic energy. That's going to be a big um, deal in this chapter. You're going to solve a lot of problems, conceptual questions and problems with that equation. Um, let me talk about a particular one. If let's go back to here, I have uh, less than a minute to make this point. Hey, if the net force is directed toward the center, however, then the work done is zero. But notice that the work done when the net force is directed toward the center is um, zero. But notice what the change in kinetic energy is here. The change in kinetic energy of, say, an object that's in circular motion around a planet or something is um, the, the kinetic energy doesn't change. You might think the direction changes, but kinetic energy is a scalar quantity. And so the kinetic energy is zero, the change in kinetic energy is zero joules. All right, see you in the next video.